What's up, YouTube? Do you feel lucky here? Bringing you, well, finally another Dragon Ball Super card game video. I know I've been really, really slacking on the channel. I haven't really uploaded much, and I, I really do apologize for that. My life has just been really, really hectic, and I just haven't really had time to do it, so kind of the YouTube stuff kind of fell on the back burner. But trust me, I, I am planning on making videos still, and I will be uploading as much as I possibly can. And actually, with this video, I do actually have a plan to upload a, quite a few videos in the near future. But... This video, we're here today because, well, as you can see, Series 3 is coming in March 9th. So they've announced, this is a little bit of old news, not, not that old, but it's been out for a few days now. Um, basically, all the information, not all the information, but a lot of information on Set 3. And instead of bombarding you with, uh, or making one big-ass video and just, like, having, like getting losing people's interest and, in, you know, 10 minutes in... I'm going to go make some separate videos because there's a lot of information to go over and there's a lot of cards to go over as well, which is actually going to be really cool. But in this video, we're just going to kind of go over Series 3 as a whole and like kind of the new, the new, like the theme of it and the new kind of cards that are in it, which I'm really excited for. So without further ado, let's kind of jump on into this. I will leave a link to this page down below if you know how to get here. Um, so if you can watch this video, because this video is actually a really cool, uh, it's on YouTube, but you, you might be able to search, I'll, maybe I'll find the YouTube video and leave a link down below. But it's a really cool video, if you have time, take a watch, it's really cool, it's like a little thing of how they're going over everything. But, um, first off, let's scroll up a little bit here, as you can see, uh, you can see the one of the pack arts here, if you can, if you can guess what that is, that is actually, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Go GT Goku. So, that does tell you that we're actually getting GT cards in this set. So, uh, to go over, obviously it's March 9th, MSRP, whatever, so the boxer box, same, booster box contains, same difference, all this, nothing new here, but the thing that we are interested in, in is there are 217 cards in set 3, um, and there are 60 commons, 30 uncommons, 18 rares, 14 super rares, 4 special rares, and 1 secret rare, so very similar to set 2. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think the numbers are generally the same. I could be wrong about that, but I mean, I, I know actually the special rare, secret rare are the same number, but the rares and the super rares are quite high, which is kind of nice. So that's that. Um, I, I am happy about that. There's a lot of really cool looking cards and stuff, which I'll go into more detail on the cards in another video because I don't want to take too much time. So let's scroll down to kind of go over. And so then here's breaking news. Um, introduction of a new character. Uh, oh, this is actually a little interesting too. The character too this is another card type. I'll, I'll go over that in another video too. I'll just need to find the art for because I really don't want to play a video in a video. Um, that's beside the point. So, so now overrealm block. So they're talking about the theme for series three and series four are going to be the same. So they're going to be this overrealm block. Whether if that means it's going to be like the same like, I mean, which it could generally be the same. Uh, uh, we'll we'll talk about that. So as you can see here from the pitch card art, we have Mass Saiyan. So. They're, they're, they're calling it the Xenoverse, um, a basically era or whatever you want to call it, but it could, you could also say Dragon Ball Heroes and stuff like that. Um, you can see Khalifa, so we got Super, uh, Pan, you got GT, Super Android 13, um, so that's like, it's a, it's a movie, and then, uh, uh, Dr. Mew, which is also GT, uh, Kid Boo or Super, I think that's supposed to be Kid Boo. it almost looks like Super Boo though. Um, so that's also, that's Dragon Ball Z, and then... Uh, the Great Ape, which you wouldn't know, but if you scroll down here, is actually Dragon Ball. So kind of the theme with this, that's what I'm kind of assuming for the Cross Worlds is, is basically, it's basically going across all the different era, eras and universes, universes of Dragon Ball, which I guess you could consider universes, because technically only Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super are in the same continuity, and GT and Xenoverse are kind of like their own separate universes at this point, because uh, if, if you don't know... After Super is air, even though Super is technically not gone past the point of GT, it has technically erased GT as canon. It is not canon anymore because Toriyama basically started making the series again, and he's writing his own future. La di da di da. And I'm sure there will be after Super ends, there will be a um, Dragon Ball series that completely goes over the timeline of GT. But that's besides the point. Go to, to you know doing so, which is really cool though that we're getting we're getting all these errors. So kind of to go over. There's just separate cards right now. So now let's start with yellow is Dragon Ball. So basically the yellow cards in the set are going to be Dragon Ball themed, which kind of, sort of, which you can see most of these are Dragon Ball. So you get a Great Ape Goku, which I'm really curious to see what that card does. Um, we have a Bulma card, who, which I can't really tell what it does. Uh, Explosive Son Goku, Kakarot the Child Who Got Away. So basically the, basically him and Bake in the pod and Raven Earth. And then Striker Bardock, which I mean, I guess you can consider... Him, G, uh, Dragon Ball, even though he's never really ever was in Dragon Ball, which is a little weird, but I mean, whatever. I guess it kind of makes sense because his father and if you want to put together timelines. Um, 
other way either way so then next we have they have dragon ball z which goes over the kid boo kid boo arc so post boo so when kid boo arrived in the boo arc kind of weird because he hasn't been, we haven't had i don't think we've had kid boo in the set and then the the movie grand android super android 13 so uh we android 13 uh android 14 uh undying destruction and so basically all of them fused android set, uh, 15 and then we also have finish and spirit bomb goku which I'm, I don't know if it'll be compatible with this deck or if you can fit it in other decks. It's a cool looking card art. I'm hoping this is probably just a rare, but it definitely looks like a dope card. So I can't really go over it. Mean, like I said, I'm not really worried about going over the card effects. I'm not going to do them in this video. But there are some really cool effects that some of these cards have that there are available to read. If you are patient, maybe I'll leave that down below as well. Um, and then now obviously the Kid Boo, you get a uh, God Absorber Majin Boo. So like this is actually, so what this uh, theme seems to be, its theme seems to be the... The Boo backstory. So this isn't Boo when he released from the pod, um, in when basically uh, Goku and Vegeta were fighting, or Goku and Majin Vegeta. This is the Boo when he absorbed one of the the Grand Supreme Kai, I believe is the correct name. So that's what this Boo Fat Boo is. And then uh, this is when he resumed. I think when he absorbed South Supreme Kai. And then uh, we get Kid Boo. And then obviously you get Bobbity. And then Bibbity, his father, the one who created Boo originally, which is this is technically. The original, I, I think this is actually supposed to be the original Boo that Bibbity created this card. It's not Kid Boo, it's Ultimate Evil Majin Boo. So, I I don't know, I could be wrong. I will, we'll, we'll see how to be determined with that. You can make your own judgments. And so then, moving on, red, the red cards we're all getting in the deck are going to be uh, apparently GT themed. Which, that's something else I have to do another video too. Speaking of which, uh, there are, on um, actually that's on the 14th, so probably when, tomorrow after this video comes up, or maybe two days from now, I'm not if I'm this tonight or tomorrow morning, um, there is a GT theme deck, and then there is a theme deck based around the new type of cards that we're getting, so I will go over that in this video. Um, but we are getting the uh, GT, which it seems to be the, um, the, like, the Space Saga, I can't remember the name of it, it basically when they went to go get the Black Star Dragon Balls in the universe, and they ran into this planet with Metal Real Doll, and when they made where they met Dr. Moo and where they first met Baby, but not when Baby came back to Earth. A little, I, I can't remember. It's been a long time since I saw GT. But so we're getting kind of the, that themed with these weird things. So like Metal Real though, Perform Perfect, it seems to be like the big bad boss uh, GT card. But then we are also getting uh, like GT Saiyan card with, with Pan and uh, Pan Trunks, Goku, which actually I, I'm not the biggest fan of GT Grant. I love Super Saiyan 2 as a design, or Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 4 as a design. I'm not a big fan of GT in general. Like, I don't like the Kid Goku stuff, but the, the decks that they are building out of GT actually seem really kind of cool, so I'm kind of stoked on that, so that might be something I might be interested in building. And so then moving on, the final thing, oh no, I shouldn't say the final, because it is not the final, as you see the universe on here, is the super cards, which I'm super stoked for. Um, one I'm really excited to go over, it is a stupidly disgusting card, it's Ultra Instinct Goku. Uh, it is a, just a monstrosity of a card. So then we also see we have Khalifa, who's a two cost, which I'm interested about. Uh, super Saiyan Blue Vegito, which is green. Uh, Ultra Instinct Goku, which is bl a blue card actually. Uh, and then we get two more a Zamasu and a few Zamasu cards, which is a little interesting as well. So, uh, well, so we're getting the so more Zamasu stuff and more Tournament of Power stuff as well. So, which is interesting, or Universal Survival Arc, whatever you want to call it, which is interesting. And then finally, as you can see, new right here, the black cards. So this is the the, the Xenoverse Universe cards. So they are calling black the emissary. So basically, you're getting we're getting uh, there's a Trunks, Supreme Kai Time, uh, Mira, and Toa. And we're getting some other ones. We're also getting Mirror, I think what they're speculating is a uh, Foo, which I'm really curious about. So they're bringing Foo as a card. That was the video up above. Um, I'll have to go over that in a different video, but there, which is supposedly Mirror and Toa's thing, or like um, Sun, who's supposed to become out DLC in Xenoverse 2, which is really interesting. They're actually connecting the card game in Xenoverse. Kind of odd, but sure. Um, that's cool. I mean, it, it just gets something to talk about. I guess they're really trying, they're really going hard with all this stuff. Um, but this is a whole new type of card, but basically the whole point of these cards is you can technically run these in every deck. And they're called, they're, they have a skill, called, most of them have a skill called Overrealm, how you bring them out. And we're actually getting, which I think I've talked about in a previous video, we're actually getting like, we're a, a basically where you can banish cards now. As the, that's what they call it in Yu-Gi-Oh! They call it, in, they call it, I think, the warp in the super, dragon, the super card game. So, which is interesting. And then the last thing they have on this page is... Uh, the dash pack. So if you remember when set two released, they came. If you went and go went to the card shops and you bought, I think, I think it was like four packs. You got a 
something you got a like a promotional pack which i, I did open the those set two ones on the channel because i opened i got two I, yeah i got two boxes um when i get to the channel so i opened those when i was opening the box on the channel um so yeah did that so we do get we get a, a, a pan a piccolo a kaba and a great ape vegeta which is kind of cool uh i feel like i think there's I think those are the only four. Uh, I could be wrong. There might be more. I'm not sure. And then down here, I mean, it says basically basically what we get. So we get the strategy, which actually I'm going to go over, and or the designer notes. And then seriously, it also interests two starter decks, which is one starter deck is the GT starter deck, and the other one is basically based around this this uh, new the black cards. So designer notes, cross worlds. Uh, I don't like I said. I don't want this video to be too stupidly long. I kind of go over this real quick. So basically, what it is is so they're calling it. Reveal, full reveal new black color with overrealm skills so basically what overrealm does is you let, let's just click on a card as we see because this is overrealm four so basically if you have four uh cards in your drop area at least four you can send the uh all the cards in your drop area to your warp and summon this card so this is a, a, a cost of four banishing and which is a little different, um, and it, there seems to be one, so it says Bardock Xeno is the character, which is interesting. Um, basically, but the only problem with these, it can only be activated once per turn, and and you at the end of the turn, you send this card from Battle of the Warp. So it seems very implausible. If there are cards, it seems implausible to run a whole full black deck. It seems like they want you to add these into your decks more rather than making a whole deck around them, which, which is weird because they are the starter deck, so it does seem like there is a way to run a full black deck where you can yeah, you actually can bring cards back to your drop area or to your hand or to your deck with a lot of card skills. So they're actually really cool cards. And so all of the these cards so far are basically based on the, the Xenoverse universe. So basically you get Bardock, Mass Saiyan, uh, Toa Mira, uh, Zooniverse Trunks, as you can see like this. So, you know, this is an overround three, same difference. You can basically do that. And then, so now we also do, so we, they also do have, um, this is like a black leader. So we have a leader, Xeno Trunks as a leader. And so basically when this card attacks, place the top two cards of your deck in the drop area. Then if there's a red or blue card in your battle area or drop area, drop, uh, draw one card. So as you can see, it kind of does seem like this. So, like, there's two two leader, two black leaders that I know of so far. I believe one is Trunks, and I think it's the other one is Mass Sane. I could be mistaken, and it could be uh, Mira, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, I'll find, maybe I'll find it in another video. Uh, so basically, the, the, this one you want to run with red and blue cards, and the other one you want to run with green and yellow cards, which that makes me think it's Mass Sane for green and yellow. Um, and then when your life is four or less, you can awaken. So you choose one card in your warp and add it to your hand and then flip this card over so instead of drawn two cards you get to, you get to choose a card in your warp and bring it to your hand so basically since you're going to be basically you want black cards in this deck you're going to want the to be putting cards in the drop area to summon cards that's essentially what it is so then when he awakens uh it's a little different so activate once per turn place two cards from your top of your deck to the drop area uh, so you so you have the choice auto when this card attacks draw one card then you may choose five cards in your drop area and send them to your warp if you do so this card gains 5,000 power and double strike for the duration of the turn so um, basically if you you basically are putting a lot of cards in the drop and this one so at least when he awakens you have the choice to drop two cards if you want but whatever a little different so it's it's weird it's, it's it's definitely different it's a different strategy it's kind of cool um i'm glad they're adding more elements to the game and if you read if you read through this whole like i said i'll link this below i don't want to read through all of this um they do talk about how they already have series five in the works they're and they're going to bring more uh new mechanics to the game so we're already getting so they're they have three and four pretty much planned out we're already three three is about to come out so they pretty much already have four finalized and they're already working on five so there's going to be even more stuff after this and like so then this is the final one so this is actually one of the new things that also too, which I will go over more in the next video. Uh, we have Xeno Evolve, which I think basically just pertains to these cards. Um, play this card in active mode by sending the specified card from your battle area to your warp. So a bar, so I'll send Bardock Xeno. A five, I think what it, the way it works is a five cost or higher Bardock Xeno to the warp. Uh, and it says triple strike. And when this card evolves, 
If your clear leader card is black, you may choose five cards from your warp and place them in the drop area. If you do so, send all of your opponent's battle cards to their warp, which is disgusting. So this is a really good SR card. Um, and definitely worth getting if you... I think this is actually one of the cards in the starter deck, to be honest with you. Um, but we'll go over that. So more... And then so... Oh, and this is something else to the deck knows. So this is going over. So more four-color decks and additional... And additions to current archetypes. So that's the other thing, too, they're kind of talking about. They, they're actually wanting to make quad color decks which is really interesting which i don't think there are many of if any at all that you can run all four colors right now i know the only one that really can run three colors is the vegeto deck um which is is still really cool and really useful so that they're they're really trying to push in different things and so i will go over it's like so these ones are not i don't know when they're going to reveal these they tend to do this like as leading up to the, the set but we do have all these these are all four sr cards and i believe all these are sr as well the really cool cards and this is really cool because i think this is one of the first if i can if i remember correctly uh three cost sr uh super rare which is the thing so it's really cool and so if you, if you read right here we are already working on series five and are designing various mechanics that will surely blow players away so basically they're saying that there's no intention for like the block the basic what they're confirming is like so people are saying or speculating that the blocks were going to be like kind of how pokemon works like where you get so many cards and then once a new block comes out the old cards are kind of pushed out and you can't use them anymore no they want to continue building what they've already put out and then add in new mechanics to the game kind of like how Yu-Gi-Oh is so they're they're taking more of a Yu-Gi-Oh approach to, this, to the the game rather than a Pokemon approach to the game which is really cool but I think that's really what I'll go over today I think this video is already probably longer than I want it to be but I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I promise, I promise, I promise I will try as hard as I can, even though my schedule is crazy, to try to make more videos on this stuff. I do have more planned. Like I said, I'm going to go over all the new set cards in the set. I'm going to go and go over the starter decks in another video as well. And as there's more information, because there will be throughout this month, coming up into, into March, there will be more information or at least about Series 3. So I will go over that as try probably as soon as it comes out. So I hope you guys did enjoy, but I'm going to get out of here before I do. Remember, stay lucky.